and welcome back. This is Boss Goodwood, an episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. We are in the middle of another fight with the Lavos Core. We got Vash, Kyra, and Bloon with us today. This is my Luminaire Fire Tackle Party because that's what I'm using them for, with an occasional flare and healing whenever necessary. Now, in order to get this ending, you need to defeat Lavos by going through the bucket at the end of the time. Every, everything that we've been doing is the bucket at the end of time so far. Uh, we need to go to the bucket at the end of time between defeating Nisbol at, in 65 million BC and recruiting Novin to your party. So, I don't actually think this one's a plot-related one. I don't think either of the ones that we're going to be seeing today is going to be a plot-related ending. But, they are... Well, they're, they're decent. <laughs> they're not the best endings. I don't want to spoil it too much, but... They are definitely available. What do we have today? Oh, we have the nice music, like we're back in... Uh, back at Vash's house. Are we going to wake up? Be nice if we woke up. Oh, hey! It's the chief from the Luruba village and Toma and Tata and did not recognize the other guy. Yeah, unfortunately this is, uh, this is the ending that you get. You get to see all the characters in the game. Well, some of the characters in the game. As the credits roll, it's not not the best ending. If you ask me, it's kind of half-assed. Oh, we got the dancing girl from from the previous ending. A scared rat. <laughs> it's it's so random what they're picking. It seems so random to me. Ah, uh, we got the the fight against uh, Flea slash and Ozzy. Ah, uh, we got. Gaspar? I think that was Gaspar at the end of the time. Now we got the runners from Lean Square. Like I said, this isn't the best of endings. But it's here for you. <laughs> Why some things are plot related and other things like this one are seemingly random, I'm not sure. I mean, we defeated Nisbal, but we didn't get... Uh, Novin in our party, you would think that they would have something ready for that scenario, but nope, just uh, just sprites apparently. Oh, finally we see paper. Okay, the paper was not important apparently because they didn't have any names on there. Oh, they had Crawley. I haven't fought Crawley in ages. I skipped that part to be honest with you. I'm trying to speed run these runs. Where I get these endings. We got all the soldiers and the chancellors there. I think those were two different chancellors. The one from 600 and one from 1000. I can't tell which one was which, but I believe that they looked slightly different. So there's not much to this. I'm having a little trouble thinking of something to say, to be honest with you. Because it's kind of uh, stale, to be honest with you. Haruto Yamamoto. Oh, there we go, the three wise men. This is part of the beginning, I should say, of when Japanese RPGs really started going into Jewish... I don't want to say mythology, because that's not really the right word, but Jewish tradition uh, for names in their games. Uh, this, of course, I've, I've mentioned before, in Japan, uh, the... The three sages in this game, they, they don't have the biblical names, but still, this is the beginning of that. We will be seeing more of that. We already saw it in Xenogears. There were a ton of Jewish names in there. Alright, there we go. That's the ending, so I hope you guys have enjoyed it. We do get the happy wedding ending, apparently, for this one as well. So I will see you next ending. And I'm back. And this time we're up against the Lavos core with Vash, Limea, and Bloom. Now in order to get this ending, 
as we defeat the Lavos core yet again. In order to get this ending, you need to get the Heroes Medal from Tata, but not get the Dream... the I believe it's called the Dreamstone. The Red Rock from Jojo. So, in, in this one, we haven't really recruited anybody other than Vash, Limea, Bloon, and Kyra into our main party. Novin's not with us. Uh, Jojo's not with us. It's it's just the four of us. It was that way last time as well. Uh, but that I'm just trying to to explain to you guys where the plot is at this point. Now this one I don't believe is as plot relevant as some of the other ones that we're going to see or the other ones that we have seen. But it can't be worse than the last ending that we saw. I mean, when it was just a slideshow pretty much of of the characters. Are you, are you kidding, Kazuh Kazuhiko Aoki? The hell is your problem? Akihiko Matsui. You have to give me something. <laughs> you have to give me something. Are we going to see anything? Thank you. What do we see? We are going through time again. Where are we going this time? We're going back to Medina Village in 1000 AD? Oh, okay. Everybody just looks at each other and laughs. I'm not in on the joke! What is going on? Are you guys just going to keep going through... Wait, where are they going? Are they going through the game as if I'm not here? They better not be doing that. I am needed, damn it. You can't do this without me. Can they, Hiroki Shiba? No, they can't. Hir Hiroyuki Ito. No, they can't do this without me. Toshiaki Suzuki. Haroyuki Nishida. They can't do this without me. Do you guys understand? See, no, they went back to 65 million a BC. I hadn't done that yet. At all. Wait, Kino's kicking ass. There's no way. Yeah, the Reptites won. No! Kino's still chasing them. What? Kino kicks ass. No. No, he doesn't. Because there are way too many Reptites. I could have taken out with them all out with one shot from a lightning to or something. Really? Jojo by herself scared him off. She doesn't really even have a area of effect. Whatever, she still could have taken him, I know. But still. Jojo by herself. So I don't understand. So what's going on? You're not being very specific with me, game. Not at all. We've got Luke hanging out on the northern cape. It looks different. Oh, well, it's 600 AD. It's not 12,000 BC. So he's still got his lieutenants with him. He's got Flea and Slash and Ozzy with him. Then uh, I think that's Queen Lean. Yeah, this is 600 AD. That didn't really tell me much of anything. What happens to the world? Do we still save it? You're not being very specific, game. And Novin... He's just pimp walking, apparently. Because that's what he does. Oh, he's pimp hopping. Once again, you're not really telling me much of anything. Damn you, advertisers! System engineer. Test coordinators. Y you guys aren't testing what happens in the game. You're just telling me... Well, you're just kind of giving me little clips of nothing happening. Being... very ambiguous here. It kind of feels like we're still going through the game, but, you know, the party's not going with them. Bloon! What happened? 
tell me what happens. No. No, he just runs away. And then he hit an invisible wall. That's the fourth wall right there. You have to turn to it and tell me what happened. Yeah, that was very, very ambiguous. I assume that the general idea is that they go through the game just without Fash, Lamia, and Kyra. And technically Bloon, too. I, it's, it's hard to say what they were exactly going for with that one, to be honest with you. And uh, we get the, uh, the regular PlayStation ending again. Can I skip this? I can. And we also get the other ending, because we got this last time, but I didn't film it, or get this on screen. We also get the ending where in 1005 AD, Masamune is lost, and the kingdom falls, and all that kind of stuff. But that is going to do it for me for this part of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. I've been Baller Scuba. I've been joined by everybody who did make an appearance, even though I never re officially recruited them. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part of Let's Play Crow Trigger. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.